flags. Help us out, okay? All right, Laverne, you're the visitors. Guys, I've got a coin here. This is zebra. He's got a head and he's got a tail. I want you to go ahead and call the toss. Tails. He called what? Tails. What did he call, Lebanon? Everybody agree he called tails. All right, I'm going to flip this coin. If I drop it, we'll do it again, okay? Here we go. All right, guys, we have got heads. Sorry, Laverne, you lost the toss. Part of the second half. You want to defer to the second half, okay? Choice to defend it a go. You want to kick this way? You guys kick it. Tommy, Lebanon has won the toss and deferred, and they will defend the south goal. Good night for football, and back up to you. Thank you, Joe. We ought to have a, a fast track tonight. The uh, grass is uh, in, in great shape. We've got an excellent stand of turf here at Lebanon High School. We expect uh, really an up and down football game. Of course, if that's what I expect, it may be another seven to six job out here tonight. Bob, we played a little bit of both brands of football. 30 points in our first game, six in our second, six in our third game. What, what, who knows what to expect? Well, you know, it, it, you, you play your competition sometimes as well, Tommy. We know that. Um, uh, you know, what we, what you can do against one team, you may not can do against another team, and, and it's just it's all matchups and how you can isolate on, on one person and try to maybe pick on them, if you will. Here come the Blue Devils with a police escort, no less. Lebanon dressed in a solid home blue. <laughs> blue pants, blue jerseys, white trim and numerals. Blue headgear with the devil horns and a white face mask. Bobby Brown, head coach at Lebanon High School. Across the way, Laverne, the Wolverines. We are ready to get this thing underway. Of course, we're waiting for the clock to run down from 30 seconds. We will start this thing right at 7.30. W-A-N-T bringing you the play-by-play -play tonight of Lebanon and Laverne. Reset that clock to 12 minutes. Kind of in a rain delay right here over time. There tonight. The Laverne is up on our plate this evening. That's where we've got to be focused. Gibson will kick it for Lebanon. Montgomery and Martin for Laverne to retain, return. There's the kick. End over end affair will be fielded at the eight. Across the 20 where he is belted down. Good job. Neal was there for Lebanon. Desmond, let's see, that was McLean was on there. And also making that stop for Lebanon. Looked like Bo Patterson. No, it wasn't. That wasn't Bo. It was uh, Devin Jones. Bo was a young man that got banged up in that automobile accident this week. Laverne will operate out of the shotgun most of the night. Landon Grooms is their quarterback, just a sophomore. Two receivers right, two left. Grooms, son of former Blue Devil Maurice Grooms, who's now an assistant coach at Laverne. Changing the play, the halfback shifts from left to right. The give is to the halfback. Off the right side, and he picks up perhaps one. Tommy Carruthers doing a good job of stepping there in the hole. Um, I know at the same time, Javon Neal made the initial hit, but Carruthers doing a good job of stepping in the hole, sliding in, and, and filling that lane. Martin is the offset back with Grooms. Two receivers right, two left. Laverne is in the shotgun. Lebanon in a 4-3 look. Grooms will roll left and wants to throw. Flips it out in the corner. He has a receiver across the 40, and he is belted down. On the catch is Terry Hodges, a junior, running an out route. Pretty safe pass. First down yardage for the Wolverines. Uh, DeMarcus McLean being out there on that corner, Tommy, I don't know if he was in dropping off, but he had to uh, he had to make a decision there whether the quarterback was going to cut it up and run it or if they were going to throw that pass in the flat. And that's there again what I'm saying, where they isolate on one player and try to make him commit. 13 yards on the passing catch for the Wolverines. First and 10 Laverne at the 40-yard line. Jordan Stafford out. The give is to Montgomery. Who gets, no, oh. that ball's loose. But they're yeah. saying he was down by contact. The ball popped loose late. 
Not much gain on the play. McLean doing a good job of covering up that loose ball, but of course I guess it was after he was ruled down. Gain of one on the fumble. The second and nine, we're at 10.53 to go in the first quarter. Laverne's first possession. Grooms is the quarterback. Now they go to a trips right set. One split receiver on the left. Grooms rolls right, looks to throw. Turns it up, he's going to run. He's across the 50. He's into Lebanon territory, and he's knocked down by Elliott Wheat and Raymond McKay. Gain of 15 on the play for the sophomore. Pass run option, and he's just athletic enough, Bob Lee, to use that to his advantage. Well, and he's what he's been built. I mean, you can see that. He is an athlete, and he is a he makes plays, and he just made a good one right there. He's, he's going to be a handful tonight. They made the decision to go with the sophomore, and there are certainly growing pains with playing a guy that young. First and 10 for the Wolverines, 10-32. Grooms wants to throw. Rolls to his right, now he tucks it. He's belted out of bounds at about the 37-yard line of Lebanon. Oliver comes up to make the tackle. Javon Neal as well for the Blue Devils. Well, their offensive line that time, Tommy did a good job of protecting him. He, uh, you know, the, the secondary must have done a pretty good job of, of uh, covering those receivers, but you, you, we can't cover them all night. We got to get a little pressure on that quarterback. Gain of six on the play. Second and three for the Wolverines there at the Lebanon and 37. Grooms takes the shotgun snap, gives it to Ooh. the tailback. He misses. We miss him in the backfield, but Elliott Wheat won't turn him loose. Negative yards on the play. Javon Neal came up and helped. And there's Carruthers, who's been pressed into service as a starter at tackle tonight. Three Blue Devils combining on the stop. Doing a good upfield behind the line of scrimmage and making something happen, Tommy. He drew quite a crowd. Negative yardage on the play. Negative two. Call it third and about six at the 40. Grooms changes the play. Will Hester, the head coach, signals in from the sideline. They do not huddle. Twin receivers right and left. Grooms drops back to throw. Goes deep, long, arching pass into double coverage. Incomplete. Intended for Terry Hodges. And, Bob, we had him bracketed on two sides. Well, you had Hutto back there and Carruthers back. I mean, not Carruthers, but Crudup back there as well. It would have been something if Carruthers was all the way back there. But Crudup and uh, Hutto with good coverage. And he got a little pressure on him that time. And he had to get rid of the ball probably a little bit sooner than he wanted to. Joe Gardner, the no huddle really speeds the tempo of the game up. Bobby, it does. And Lebanon, you just kind of have to sit there and wait and then uh, hopefully just see what Laverne is doing and get lined up correctly. Lebanon will drop in the punt return formation as Laverne runs a man out to kick. Crudup will stand at his own 10. There's the snap. Left-footed kick. A knuckler will hit and skip and roll to about the 14-yard line. On the kick is William Zelensky for Laverne. 26 yards on the punt. No return. The ball will be put in play first and 10 Lebanon at their own 14-yard line. Here's a score from Robinson Stadium in Watertown. The Purple Tigers break out to a 7-0 lead over Friendship. 1.51 to go in the first quarter. In the second quarter, excuse me. 1.51 before half. Watertown leads Friendship. 7-0. Lebanon in the eye. They give it to the tailback right up the gut. Jacob Maynard first down. Across the 25. Lebanon ran the ice, the isolation play. Fullback Benford leading Jacob Maynard 12 yards on the game. Bob, nothing fancy about that. No, that, that's just mash mouth football right there, Tommy. Just tackle to tackle. Here we come. Stop us. And they're doing a good job there on the right side of that line. I know some, some guys being forced into, into playing there. Uh, they got Daniel Winter in there doing a good job over, the, over on the right side. Lebanon in the eye. Two receivers right. Maynard runs it off tackle. Spin picks up about two. Quarterback took it right off tackle. No option there. That was quarterback sweep all the way. 
gain of well, a little bit more than I thought. Good little pickup. Gain of six on that play. Call it second and four from the 32. Lebanon stays in the eye. Tight end left. Dexter Taylor is the tight end. Two receivers on the right. Give it to the tailback, Jacob Maynard. Picks up maybe one off the right side. Because we have a new center in there in Daniel Winter, that perhaps limits what we want to do in the shotgun, and, and we're going under center, Bob Lee. Well, anytime you got a, a new center, and not just new for this game, but, uh, you know, we've, we've had... Uh, our center that we've had in there, Tommy Blankenship, has been there for three years. So, I mean, he's, you know, you, you somebody new it takes to get accustomed to. Third and three. Give it to the tailback right up the middle. Maynard's right there at the stick. Going to depend on the spot. He was diving as he went down. One of our spotters says first. And they move the spot back slightly. They're going to have to measure this. No, they're, they're moving the sticks. Okay. First down. Jacob Maynard running behind William Benford, Keenan Dye, and D.J. Ellis on that right side. Nice block by Dexter Taylor, the tight end. First and 10, Lebanon. 7-17 to go in the first. We have no score. Now we go to the gun. Two backs in the backfield with the main, with quarterback. Give the inside handoff to Jacob Maynard, and he barrels over a pile. I like the way that pile falls forward. <laughs> eight yards on that carry and a very tough eight. Joe Gardner, a lot of push by that offensive front. Tommy, it's what you like to see. We hadn't had any negative plays yet, which is good for Lebanon. Uh, all positive yards, keep it in short down the distance and move the ball down the field. Tommy. First and ten Blue Devils. Ball's going to be spotted at the 44 of Lebanon. 45. Check it. It's at the 45. Lebanon in the gun. Two backs. Split receivers left and right. Give it on the near side, and that will be Jacob Maynard again. It's going to be awfully close to a first down there. Maynard on the game. And, Bob, when you play a lot of... We're, we're playing a lot of different people on that offensive line. Hey, let's call on them early, and that's, that's exactly right. what Bobby Brown has done, blocking, just going right at them. Well, there's no smoke and mirrors right here. I mean, they're just going straight ahead, and and they've got a lot of kids that have had to step in and fill some fill some holes, and uh, and they're doing an excellent job of taking taking care of business. Two backs in the backfield with Maynard. Take it to Benford. Mm. Matthew Maynard is not going to get the first. He's going to be stopped short of the line of scrimmage, perhaps a little loss on the play. Ball will be spotted squarely on the 45. Lebanon has got to go to the 47 for the first, and the punt team comes on the field. I don't know if I'd count on it. <laughs> Hutto will long snap it, apparently. Gibson stands at punter. There's the snap back. Perfect Ooh. pass and a nice looking kick. Gonna be field, not gonna be fielded. And that young man for Laverne picks it up off the hop <laughs> and carries it out to about the 22. That is a breakneck risk by C.J. Montgomery. <laughs> 37 yards on the kick, four on the return, and setting the stage on that, a Lebanon man touched it, trying to down it, but until you make that ball quit moving, it is not down, and C.J. Montgomery picked it up and spun for about a four-yard return for the Wolverines. 5.05 to go in the first half, in the first quarter. No score. Ball's going to be spotted at the 21 of Laverne. Grooms, the quarterback, at the sweep left. He oh. felt it and knocked down. Good job. Carruthers was there. Keenan died nice through there to get him started. And Carruthers helped wrap him up. <clears throat> we got a couple of kids playing sick tonight. There's a dose of strep going through the school. Randall, uh, Randall. Alex